is Alan Rue. Uh, he's the creative director for Disneyland Parks and Resorts, and uh, he'll be taking you some uh, through some concepts for Disneyland. Thank you. And you. Now this is something we started 15 months ago. We brought 16 high-power projectors, some really sophisticated computer equipment that I absolutely don't understand. Um, it's some amazing animation, some beautiful music, and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of guest photographs, and made a new kind of magic on Cinderella Castle. So let's just take a look at uh, the magic memories of you. So we've had some great, great fun with the castle, uh, transforming it into a lot of different things. And in the process, we've put over half a million photographs of our happy guests on the castle, as well as on It's a Small World out in California. And we've also had the opportunity of transforming and changing our, um, our uh, show uh, as, uh, as the seasons have changed. We, uh, for Christmas, turned the castle into a gingerbread castle. And we also did a little shout out to a look from the, from the past. <laughs> yes, we all remember that, don't we? <laughs> and then this spring, uh, we turned our attention to romance. And we brought Lady and the Tramp onto the castle and then transformed it into the Beast Castle uh, from Beauty and the Beast. And now, for summer, uh, we've got some brand new looks and some great new music lined up starting on May the 25th. Now, of course, this section of the show is going to be kicked off by those two guys that own summer, Phineas and Ferb. And to the sounds of a surf guitar, they're first going to take us to the beach, where we're going to turn the castle into a sand castle complete with dancing starfish and shells. Everything in the whole summer section dances to the beat. It is, it is the danciest section, or the danciest overlay that we've ever done. And the castle itself is going to be bouncing up and down to the beat. Uh, we're then going to take you to the jungle, where uh, Simba and Pumba and Timon are going to be strutting their stuff and, uh, um, and singing Hakuna Matata, and then finally take you under the sea with Ariel and Sebastian and friends for a, a waterlogged uh, aquatic finale. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of brand new looks uh, for the castle and some great new music. Um, and by the end of the summer, we will have seen over a million guests have their pictures put on, on the castle and on It's a Small World. We're really excited to have been a part of creating memories for so many of our guests uh, and 
making them larger than life as part of the show. But as always, the pictures that we show you up here, the renderings that we have, don't really do the show justice. You really have to see it uh, yourself. So we invite you out to in front of the castle starting on May 25th to see for yourself what summer fun can look like for the magic, the memories, and you. And now.